The new OnePlus Nord CE packs 5G speeds and decent performance into a pretty good looking body and charges even less for it than its predecessor. But is this phone worth your time? Let's find out. The first OnePlus Nord launched last year and it was a big success in the company's eyes. It was OnePlus's best-selling device in Europe and it provided the best first day of sales in the company's history. But even more important is that I liked it too. I did, I liked that blue colour and I did really enjoy its compromise of performance and price. So following up on such a big success is no easy challenge, particularly when rivals like Samsung are offering dirt cheap entries into 5G and even Apple is offering more affordable handsets like the iPhone SE. But the Nord CE takes some of what made its predecessor so popular and lops even more off the price. While last year's base model came in at £379, the base model of the Nord CE starts at only £299. And who doesn't love a bit of a saving? I could spend the rest on sweets, or maybe a pint or two. As with its predecessor, the Nord CE is Europe only, so those of you in the US will have to look elsewhere. So what is good about this phone? Well, I really like the look. It's got this nice frosted glass back with this very subtle purple edging, which I think looks pretty neat. It's only 7.9 mil thick, which makes it very comfortable to hold and even more comfortable to slide into your jeans. It's visually similar to the previous Nord, but I think this one has a slightly classier look overall. There's no IP rating for waterproof, so do make sure to keep it safe if you're taking calls in the rain or you're handling it around clumsy friends carrying drinks. The screen is around 6.4 inches, much like its predecessors, while its full HD resolution makes everything look perfectly sharp for everyday use. It has vibrant colours as well, and I found it to be fairly bright enough to use under most conditions. It's perfectly good enough for gaming and even watching some excellent YouTube videos, perhaps seen its own YouTube channel, like and subscribe. Inside is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 750G processor, which is actually a slight step down in the range from last year's 765G processor. It's not often that a next generation phone uses lower spec hardware, but it's clearly the area that OnePlus has tried to save some money in order to keep that asking price down. In use, my review model, which comes with 12GB of RAM, feels perfectly smooth and responsive. Lightweight games like Alto's Odyssey play with no issues whatsoever, while even more demanding titles like Asphalt 9 Legends are perfectly playable for all but the most demanding of gamers. Photo editing in Snapseed, meanwhile, is just as smooth as you'd expect to find on any of the flagship phones, while simply navigating the Android 11-based interface was smooth and free of any kind of stutter or lag. While its performance on benchmark tests might make it a little bit lower than what we saw on last year's model, in real-world use you probably won't notice much difference. This thing is more than powerful enough to tackle all of your everyday essential tasks. The rear cameras include a 64 megapixel main image sensor along with an 8 megapixel super wide and a 2 megapixel monochrome camera as well. It can take decent outdoor shots with plenty of detail and a good handle on exposure and colours as well. Sure, it's no rival to the iPhone 12 Pro Max or even OnePlus's top end 9 Pro, but it's perfectly good enough for everyday snaps of your kids in the park. It supports 30 watt fast charging going from 0 to 70% full in around 30 minutes and its battery itself will give you enough juice for a full day of mixed use. It's got 5G connectivity of course, there's a fingerprint scanner built under the display and we've even got the return of the 3.5mm headphone jack for those of you still clinging to those wired headphones. So should you actually buy the OnePlus Nord CE? Well, while its lesser performance over last year's model is a touch disappointing, the OnePlus Nord CE does still offer everything you'd need for your everyday essentials, including a decent camera and those 5G speeds, and it does it all at an even lower price. If you're shopping on a budget, there's really not that much that comes close. But what do you think to the OnePlus Nord CE? Is it a phone that you're excited about or are you looking a little bit further up the range? Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment box below and make sure to like and subscribe for a lot more from CNET.